How do our people make a living? There are two ways. One is by stealing. A thief hopes to grow fat on what he has stolen, and a bee seeks to increase his herds by recovering what has been stolen from him, and more besides. Those in authority will fleece both the bee and thief by promising the former to help recover his stolen livestock and the latter to evade justice. Your average man will inform the thief to the authorities, at the same time aiding and abetting him by buying up the stolen goods for a song. Then there is another way. Ordinary people are persuaded by crooks to resort to tricks they would otherwise never have dreamt of. Do this or that, they say, and you'll be rich and famous. You will be regarded as invulnerable and your opponents will fear you. Finding evil passions and setting people against one another, the swindlers hope to be of service to someone and profit by this. That's the way they live, the grandee by aiding the bee and abetting the thief, and the poor man by sucking up the power that bee and backing him disputes, siding now with one, now with another party, and selling dirt cheap his honor, his wife, his children, and his kith and kin. If there are no thieves and swindlers, our people would think carefully. They would be only too glad to work honestly and seek goodness and wisdom if the bee could make do with what he has and the poor man, without losing hope and faith, could earn what he lacks. Despite themselves, the common people get involved in dirty business. Who is strong enough to approve this evil? Will honor and pledge, loyalty and conscience sink into oblivion? There might be a force capable of taming the thief, but what about the bee, who out of greed connives with the swindler who will make him see reason and how?